G'day everyone and welcome back to another Fusion 360 tutorial. In today's lesson, we're gonna have a look at creating a simple bracket with some holes in that bracket so that bracket can be mounted. So I've got some geometry that I've already drawn up here. It's uh, a piece of angle. It's basically a 60 by 60 piece of angle. It's eight millimeters uh, thick. Um, and I'm just gonna finish that sketch and I'm just going to extrude that by clicking on that surface there. And we're just gonna, we're gonna say it's 120 millimeters long and we're gonna click on okay. So there's our angle, if you like. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to have two mounting holes or fixing holes down here. And I'd also like to have two fixing holes uh, on this face also. So I'm gonna show a couple of ways in, in this video. First. First thing I could do is actually just draw two holes, so, sorry, draw two circles, and then I could cut those through. So I can show you that. What I'll do is I will select this face that I'd like to draw on, and I'm gonna pick up my sketcher, and now I've swung around to that view, and what I'd like to do is I'm just gonna draw a circle there, and I'm just going to um, dimension that circle relative, or reference it to an edge. There we go. I'm going to make this 25 millimeters in and I'm going to dimension between the center and this outer edge and maybe let's go 15 there and I'm going to you can see the circle is still blue which means it doesn't have a, a diameter on there so we might as well throw a diameter on there as well and we will say that the hole is um, eight millimeters in diameter. So you can see it's basically, let's pull that out. It's 25 millimeters in from the end. It's 15 millimeters in from this edge. And there it is, it's eight, eight millimeters in diameter. So what we might do is throw another circle in there. Um, I'm just going to do something like this. Now I'm going to use some driven dimensions here so from this edge to here, I'm going to, where it says 20 now, I'm going to say it should always be the same as this master dimension here of 25. Okay, I'm going to hit enter there. I'm going to do the same between the center and here. So we can see on our master one there, it's 15 millimeters. So I'm actually going to click on the 15 millimeters. There it is. You're always looking for that D there. Hit enter. And what we'd also like to do is give the diameter a driven dimension. I'm going to click on the eight, and hit enter. Okay. Now the beauty of having those driven dimensions is that if the client turns around to say, Hey, uh, those holes actually need to uh, enlarge those holes. We've got a different size bolt. Maybe it's a, a 10 mil bolt. No problem. I can just double click, change that 10 and everything grows with it. The same goes with the placement of these. So let's say, for example, the client says, no, no, I actually need them to be only 20 millimeters in from the edge. Everything updates. So that's the beauty of using um, that type of driven dimension when you're actually uh, developing your, your drawings. Really, it's about knowing the intent. I keep on talking about design intent. All right, so let's finish the sketch. I'm just going to click on that little home button. This is what we've got. We've got these two circles here. I'm going to select the first one. I'm going to select the second one. Sorry, hold down shift to select them both. I'm going to go to my extrusion. Sorry, this one here. And I'm going to pull this in a negative direction. So when you see it being red, it means that it's cutting through the material. Now what I'd like over here on my uh, extrude panel, you can see the extent type is a distance value. Currently it's being pulled down 25 millimeters and that's fine, it's gonna cut through the material. But my intent is that it should always go all the way through the object. So I'm, I'm, this is what I'm saying, all. Okay, so now it's gonna cut through that object and it wouldn't matter if we change the thickness of the plate here or the angle, it would always know, hey, the intent is for those holes to go all the way through. So I'm just gonna click on okay, job done. And I've got that 
going on there. All right, so let's just do two more holes just so we uh, quickly go, go over it again. I'm going to select this face. I'm going to pick up my sketch tools here. All right, let's do a circle here. And I'm going to draw another circle um, over here. And uh, look, I'm, I'm making this really obvious that it's not in, uh, aligned, but I'm just showing you. Let's show some dimensions. Hitting D from that edge, maybe we're saying 15. Um, D is doing here and here. Whoop. My bad. Let's try that again. There we go. Throw 20 on there. And let's throw a diameter. Maybe these ones have a slightly different sized hole in here. Um, we'll go 12 on there. All right, so let's make the other side the same. So there's the diameter. I can click on the master diameter there. Hit enter. How far is it between here and here? I can pull that off. It's 25 currently. We want it to be the same as this one over here. So we'll click there and hit enter. And then we'll put a dimension on from the edge to the center, which you can see is 20.7, but we'll say it's always gonna be the same as this master dimension. And there we have it. And again, client says, I'd like it to be a different value. And you can see that that updates. All right, we'll, uh, we'll finish that sketch. Now what we're going to do is cut those holes out again. So I'll, I'll just hold shift and select both of those in a, there we go. You want them blue. We're going to go up to our extrude. So you know when I pull this, it actually creates a new body. Sorry, it creates material joining that. Now that's obviously not what I want. So I want to pull in the opposite direction. So it goes red, which basically means you've got a cut operation. And again, which are going to change the distance, extent type to all, so it cuts all the way through. We'll click OK. There we have it, a bracket with some fixing holes in there for screws or bolts or whatever, whatever you have. Um, and we've used some driven dimensions in there as well as, uh, to create those masters driving that. Okay, hopefully uh, you learned something in that video. Um, yeah, stay tuned for more.